Hi there, I'm Cori Barger. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, it's the last day of 2020, finally, and I thought perhaps some of you would have a resolution to get back to practicing. So, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to dust off the bassoon after a break. Breaks are really important. They help us to forget bad habits and to come back to the instrument fresh. One of the things that a lot of musicians struggle with is burnout, and to be constantly practicing the same things is really not helpful for us. So I, may, I take a lot of breaks. It's been a couple weeks since I've played over the holidays now, and when I come back to it, I'm always trying to be as patient as possible. The first thing that I do is I pick up a really old reed that has been a really nice, reliable, uh, faithful reed. Maybe it was kind of on its last legs when I put it away. Um, and I just soak that up for a good 10 minutes to make sure that it's really um, going to vibrate for me. You don't want to suddenly start yourself off on a brand new reed, something that needs to get broken in, because all of these muscles here are really out of shape. When you're coming back to the instrument, it's kind of like jumping back into an exercise routine after spending a couple of months on the couch. It's going to be really difficult. So don't fall into the trap of expecting perfection right away. Make sure that you're patient with yourself. Make sure that you've chosen tasks that will allow you to explore with the instrument, will allow you to get back to the type of sound that you want to create. So I always start off with playing some long notes, doing some breathing exercises to make sure that my lungs are working with me and my stomach muscles are doing what I want them to do. And then I'll stay in the lower range of the instrument, probably for the first day just to keep things really relaxed. One of the things that I'm trying to do is to eliminate some neck tension for myself. So I am really focusing on staying calm and staying loose. And so always think about the goals that you have going forward. What do you want to be improving on as you keep practicing? If it's a cleaner finger technique, start off with some slow scales. If it's more relaxation, uh, a more open sound, make sure you play some long notes. Um, if it's more endurance, that's something that has to be built up slowly. So it's going to take a couple of weeks for you to be back um, at a place where you're able to stretch your endurance. Usually after I take a break, I'm back in playing shape in, a, in maybe three days. It depends how long I was on a break for. Um, one time I took a month off and it took me a good week to sound the way that I wanted to afterward. But um, the more accustomed you are to taking a little bit of time off and coming back, the faster you'll get back to that. So once you've warmed up, make sure that whatever you've chosen to play is not too much of a stretch. If you've taken a break from practicing because you were burnt out, you don't want to dive into a piece that's really hard because you're just going to be right back where you were. Find something that you like to play, something that really highlights the parts of your playing that you love, and just get back into a good relationship with your instrument. Um, have fun, but don't play for too long. Usually my first practice session back is only going to be about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so don't push it and remember that it, your body has to get accustomed to playing as well as your mind and your fingers. Not that your fingers aren't part of your body, but you know what I mean. Your body is as much a part of the relationship um, between like you and your sound as your instrument is. So make sure that it, that is all taken care of. So make sure that you're keeping your practice sessions short at, for the first few days. And once you get back into the swing of things, then you can maintain your regular routine after that. Happy New Year. I hope that 2021 is a much better year for everyone.